Alright, hello everybody and welcome. This is going to be a video about the upcoming E3 2017. Um, things that I'm looking forward to, a uh, little bit of news, that sort of thing. Uh, so, alright. You might be asking, why am I looking at Red Dead Redemption 2? You're not asking. You're not asking at all. You know why. <laughs> alright, so Red Dead Redemption 2, something that was announced earlier this year. Uh, it's coming out fall 2017. That's obviously something that's going to be at E3. Something I want to know a little bit more about uh, coming into that. So there was a trailer. Um, the trailer actually was a bit not great, in my opinion. It didn't show off in-game graphics, really, I don't think. It shows... Um, well, I guess I can play it right now. It's right here. So, it doesn't really show off anything in particular that's that interesting. Um, it's more of a reveal trailer than anything else. Just shows off some of... The... If that's in-game graphics, I mean, that's fantastic. But I don't think that it is. It could be. Maybe parts of it are, parts of it aren't. Not really sure. It doesn't say whether it is or not. Um, but regardless, I'm pretty excited about this game. I played the old Red Red, uh, Red Dead Redemption back in the day, and I really like that game. And you don't really see westerns that much in games in general. I think um, the only western that I remember playing, Call of Juarez, was like the only other one. It's a series, and some of those games were okay, but some of them really weren't that good. Um, Red Dead Redemption, it's going to be great, but I want to know a little bit more about it. Alright, so let's take a look. Um, here's some news from Eurogamer, talking about Assassin's Creed Origins. So there's a new Assassin's Creed game. They already mentioned that they were going to be uh, doing that. Apparently... This is a image of it. Let's see if we can pull this up. That is awful quality image, but <laughs> apparently this is what the game looks like. Uh, so it's it's uh, Assassin's Creed Origins. That's the name. Um, they also say something about there's going to be sailing in the new Assassin's Creed game. Uh, you can have a bow or something like that looks like there's a little shield on the guy. So there's quite a few things that have leaked about this. Looks interesting. Assassin's Creed, I haven't been that interested in it for quite a while now. I didn't even play the last uh, one or two games. But they took their time this time. I'm a little bit more interested. I liked Black Flag. Uh, so if there's more sailing and that sort of thing, I'm interested enough to take a look at it. Alright, so let's take a look at Death Stranding. Um, here's trusted reviews talking about everything we know so far. Um, what we know, we've got Norman Reedus. <laughs> That's really all we know. It has Norman Reedus in it. It's Kojima. Uh, it's going to be weird. It's going to be super weird. He's talked about some multiplayer aspects to it that are kind of interesting as well. Um... But aside from that, there's not a whole lot. There's just a couple of trailers, uh, kind of teaser things. So I think we're going to be seeing a bit more of that at E3. Um, but do I really care that much about it? I care about the game. I think it's going to be interesting. But I, everything they've shown so far is a lot of nothing. And the game isn't... There's no way it's coming out until, like, 2019 or something. So, really, the the only time that I'm going to care about seeing, like, some something um, to do with Death Stranding is actual gameplay. Probably 2018, maybe even 2019. Who knows? But, um, you never know. Maybe we'll see something at this E3 that is actually interesting. Nino Kuni, that is another game. Nino Kuni 2, uh, 
think it's coming out later this year. Not really 100% on that. Uh, it doesn't say anything about it on this page. So, but still, I, I've i seen a decent amount about this game already. I don't personally need to see that much more. Um, I'll, we'll probably see it at E3. I'm going to get this game. It looks awesome. <laughs> it looks fantastic. I like all the graphics. Um, take a look at this real quick. I mean, it's just... It looks like old Studio Ghibli uh, animations, so... I don't see how you could not want to play this game. <laughs> it looks really cool. Anyone that likes JRPGs and that sort of thing, it's a game to look out for. So, alright, let's take a look at the next thing. Hellblade, A Senua's Sacrifice. It's another game that's coming out, I think, in 2017. Um, they've got a decent amount of stuff about it here, about the development. Looks cool. I don't know a lot about it. I haven't honestly look that much into it but it is by ninja theory so i'm interested interested enough to check it out whenever it comes out has a really interesting um aspect to it where i think the the main character has some psychological problems or something that it gets into and there's a lot of interesting things in there so we'll see how that goes it it'll probably be at e3 as well i assume so, we'll see what they have to say about that. Alright, so, there's a couple things about um, Dragon Quest Eleven. I think I have something else here. Yeah, uh, Dragon Quest Eleven dominated the Japanese Amazon charts for a month. So, it's already doing pretty huge numbers in Japan. I don't think it's even out yet. I think it comes out in... I want to say... July in Japan, maybe even later than that. Um, but yeah, Dragon Quest XI, it's looked really cool. Uh, here's my other thing up here. Details. So they've been kind of leaking out a lot of details about the game, about the combat, about different characters and that sort of thing. Um, it looks really cool. It, it's also interesting that there's a 3DS version of the game. There's also a PS4 version. Really want that PS4 version. They haven't said anything about the NA release. And that makes me sad. <laughs> but hopefully, hopefully at E3, they'll talk about Dragon Quest XI in North America. That is something I'm looking for. Um... Hoping, hoping, hoping for, because I really want to play this game. Obviously, Dragon Quest X was an uh, online game, so we didn't really... And we didn't really get that here in the U.S. Um, so yeah, Dragon Quest XI, looking forward to that. Want to see a release date, or just tell us that it's coming. <laughs> Please, that'd be great. Um, let's see, what else do we have here... God of War. So there's a new God of War game coming out. Uh, I guess it's a new beginning. I don't know if that's a title. It just has God of War. It doesn't have God of War 4 on it. Um, But there have been some interesting trailers coming out for God of War. I've never really been big on God of War. I, I played a little bit of 1 and 2. I don't think I played 3 at all. I've heard good things about it, and I've been somewhat interested in trying it out, but never really got to it. There's a lot of other things that I was more interested in, but this newer God of War, it interests me a lot more. It seems like they're having some sort of um, development between him and, I guess, his son. Um, yeah, he has his son at his side, so they're kind of switching up with this game. Um, I've really liked what I've seen so far of it. Seems like they're going to be exploring their relationship between him and his son. Um, and kind of switching up the the way that God of War works. And whenever they do that with a big franchise, I want to at least give it a shot, check it out, um, see what review, reviewers have to say about it. 
So I think that's one that we'll definitely see at E3. Uh, maybe we'll get some more details about what exactly it's going to be bringing to the table. And looking forward to that as well. Okay, so... Um, so I just pulled up the Bethesda site. And the reason is, I love Bethesda. <laughs> Bethesda is one of my favorite companies for um, games. I know, I know a lot of people are like, but they made Fallout 4 and it wasn't that great. Um, I actually really liked Fallout 4. I, I liked it a lot. I like um, all the Elder Scrolls games. I liked Dishonored. I like pretty much everything they've put out. So for me, a new Elder Scrolls game, that is what I'm looking for. Um, but I don't know if we'll get it at this E3. I think maybe next year is the time to look for that. Um, but it could happen. You never know with Bethesda. Sometimes they just randomly come out and say, hey, we've got this thing. Um, there you go. But they do have a press conference. I think they've already lined it up for um, I think June 13th or something like that. So uh, maybe the 14th. Not really sure. But it's there. It's a possibility. I'm looking forward to it. Aside from that, they'll probably show off uh, Quake Champions. Um, that's a game that they're probably going to be hyping up soon. Elder Scrolls Legends. A couple other things. Um... But yeah, I'm looking to Bethesda for what they're doing next. I really want to know. Uh, Prey just came out. Looks great. Got pretty good reviews as well. I think it got uh, 85, 80, somewhere in there on in a lot of different places. Seems like a good game. Probably going to give it a shot at some point. Um, maybe not just now, but we'll see. Okay, so think... Um, this might be the last one. Cyberpunk 2077. Holy crap, am I hyped for this game. <laughs> um, for me, Witcher Wild Hunt is um, top two games of all time. It's just... It was fantastic. Everything about it I liked a lot. Uh, some people will say the combat wasn't that great. I'll say I don't care. <laughs> I don't care that the combat wasn't that great. Uh, it worked. It's, it was decently difficult at times, as long as you didn't put it on like the lowest setting or something like that. Um, I, I'm not a big combat person. I like, I like it to be decently good. I like it to be quick and um, work well. But I care about story. And for me that's what these guys know how to do is deliver a great story the story of Geralt and Ciri and just all the characters in that world were some of the best in gaming that I think we've ever seen and that means that Cyberpunk 27 2077 has the potential to be even better so looking for this game at E3 um, not sure we'll get it it's kind of a toss up I think either this year or next year uh, they're going to start talking about it more. But I think uh, CD Projekt Red are known for not really talking that much until they're really ready. So and they don't have to, honestly. They don't have to talk about things because people know um, they're going to get quality at this point. And that's a good thing. They've built up their reputation. It took them a while. The original two Witcher games, not really that highly, um, not that highly praised. They were decently good, decently praised by people. I liked them a lot, personally. Uh, thought there were some really interesting takes on the genre, um, especially the combat in Witcher 1 was bad. Let's be honest. <laughs> Let's be honest. The combat in the first Witcher fairly bad, not great. Um, but in Witcher 2, it picked up, um, story throughout was good. And then they just blew it out of the park with the Witcher Wild Hunt. So looking forward to Cyberpunk 2077. I don't know 
anything about it, really, <laughs> aside from that CD Projekt Red is working on it. Um, obviously, it's going to be in a kind of cyberpunk world, which means we're going to see people with mohawks, <laughs> um, maybe some mech type things. We're going to see guns, lasers. Who knows? I I don't really know yet. I want to know. Show me at E3, please. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that is it for my list. Yeah, so. E3 2017, looking forward to it. Um, I think it starts on June um, 13th. So that's about a month from now. Um, I might do a thing afterwards talking about things that have been that were shown off. So look forward to that. Um, so I guess that's all for this video. I'm Melchior's from Game Clouds. Have a good night, friends. <laughs>